Hello everyone, I'm Dr. David Perlmutter. Thanks for joining us today. You know, we talk a lot about the mind-gut connection, the gut-brain connection, and in fact, there's even a book written by Dr. Emron Mayer called The Mind-Gut Connection that explores this relationship between things going on within the gut, the array of gut bacteria, and the brain. Well, there's new research that demonstrates uh, correlations between changes in the gut bacteria and actually the brain itself. We're going to look at that in just a moment. And again, this is uh, a study from Dr. Mayer's group out at UCLA. Uh, and interestingly, uh, they've even correlated these changes in the gut bacteria and subsequently relate to the brain early life trauma. Let's take a look at this study. This is really uh, an interesting study. And uh, again, uh, this comes from uh, our friend Dr. Emron Mayer. Uh, as you know, he was a previous guest on the Empowering Neurologist, and the study is entitled uh, Differences in Gut Microbial Composition Correlate with Regional Brain Volumes in Irritable Bowel Syndrome, meaning uh, that changes in the composition of the gut bacteria are correlated with the volume of, of certain brain areas, and in this case, uh, in specific individuals who had uh, IBS, and the study was published in Microbiome. Uh, in May of 2017. And what the study looked at was 29 adults who had irritable bowel syndrome and compared them with 23 healthy controls. It analyzed their stool, uh, looked at the bacteria in their stool by doing what's called 16S uh, RNA evaluation, and at the same time also evaluated their uh, brains using what is called structural uh, MRI. And what they found was that the gut microbial composition correlates with various brain regions and even, interestingly enough, with a history of early life trauma. Uh, really incredible correlations there that both the correlations of the abundance of certain types of bacteria with early adverse life events and distinct changes in the brain suggest a role that the gut microbes might have, as well as their metabolic products may have, in the development and the shaping of the gut microbiota brain axis early in life. So we end up getting uh, a developing idea here, a paradigm, where early life trauma is uh, then known to change the gut microbiota, and that sets the stage for irritable bowel syndrome, but in addition leads to changes in brain morphology. This explains how early life trauma then may ultimately change the actual shape and the size of various brain areas. Uh, that is an incredible connection that is interestingly mediated, apparently, according to this study, uh, by the gut microbiome and the changes uh, in the gut microbiome that are brought about uh, by early life trauma, by that event. Well, this is interesting stuff, isn't it? A relationship then uh, between early life trauma and the gut in terms of the bacteria, as well as irritable bowel disease, and then the changes that we just described noted in the brain itself. So this is a powerful linking of the dots between early life trauma and adult brain uh, changes. Really very interesting information again, that very much solidifies the holistic view of the body that, you know, these seemingly disparate parts are actually very, very much related. Interesting research. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for joining us. I'm Dr. David Perlmutter. Bye for now.